Well, here we go. My uh, engineer is going on a date. She needs a fine outfit. Let's do number one. You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. <laughs> Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense. You're absolutely lovely. Chin up now. I have just the thing for you. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Materials, labor, licensing and copyright. There. Uh, what? Am I going to get a copy strike for this? <laughs> I can cover 6,000 bits. I'm like, I can. I have like, what, 15,000 or something like that now? Maybe more, maybe less. So, uh, persuade 65, she's an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Intimidate 65. Fees for licensing and copyright. Cut the bull poop. Show me a fair price now. Hold up. Did you actually measure her for this outfit? I didn't see any measuring tape. I'll think it over and get back to you. You know what? Let's do, let's do, let's do number four and then two and then three. I don't want to intimidate right off the bat. I don't want to persuade right off the bat. Maybe just bring this up. Maybe just questioning it. She'll be like, okay, okay, 4,000 bits or whatever. And then we could do persuade and then maybe bring it down to like 3,000 and then intimidate to bring it down to like five bits or something like that. <laughs> All right, well, hold up. Did you actually measure her for this outfit? I didn't see any measuring tape. Darling, do I look like an amateur? Oh. I read her measurements by eye. And don't you ask, because they're no one's business but her own. Though you did the old ocular pat down, didn't you? I know, it's a... Uh, yeah, let's do Persuade 65. She's an engineer. You think she can afford that? She needs to impress her true love. Love? That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub! Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Oh, wow. She literally cut the price in half. I guess we could swing 3,000 bits. All right, well, hey, look at that. We're saving 3,000 bits by doing this. So, hey, can't complain. Let's do number one. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. Okay, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, is it just going to... Oh, we're done already. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Well, there we go. I, I think we just finished this mission up, you guys. Nice. Uh, I guess we could do number one and see what she has. Oh, wait, what in the world? Did I hit the wrong button? What happened there? I can't wait to see those outfits. What can I do for you, darling? Yeah, I literally hit, can I buy something? And they just exited me out of that. That was kind of weird. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. What are these glasses? The aviator wrapped lightweight glasses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, intimidating plus five, 10 armor. Level 22, though. So that's pretty good. Level 14 hat. Two handed melee plus five. Don't really need that. Town and country. Leadership skills. Defense skills. Leadership skills. Leadership. Dialogue. Stealth. Okay, well, some of these are kind of interesting. And then, of course, we have the regular uh, troop armor. Level 27 right there. Medium. Determination plus 7. I forget which one that is. If that's the companions do more damage or the companions have more health or whatever that is. I forget which one. But this is actually pretty decent. Like, I can give I can give these to my companions. 54 armor. Level 27. We can get them all the way up to, like, what? Level 31 or something like that right now. Those are pretty good. And then, of course, we have the heavy armor, 92 armor rating. And then, of course, block plus five uh, still skills, negative five. Not really too crazy about that one. And then we have light variant here, level 26 right there. Melee weapon skills plus five. And then uh, even what? Wait, ordnance control armor gold. Is that what's over here? Standard. Oh, wait, I guess it's slightly different then, huh? Oh, yeah, this is the leadership. Here's determination. Wait, leadership counts as determination and the other one. And then here's a heavy helmet, 92 armor, level 30. God, heck and That's crazy. So $400 for the helmet. 
Ah, man, I might actually. Oh, that's a pristine one, so that's going to be pretty expensive. Handguns plus five. I'm like, I pretty much never use handguns, so I'm not really too crazy about that. But I might I might end up buying some of this armor and just kind of replacing Ellie, Parvati, uh, Vicar Max, and uh, Felix, too. And uh, Nyoka. I think that counts all the humans. Oh, 19% discount here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Of course, we can't change any Sam stuff out. I wonder if we can eventually. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, what is this thing? Leaper injectors. Increases the distance you travel when dodging. Ooh, oh, I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting that I can dodge now. Or, I've been able to dodge since the beginning, golly. Uh, we're down to $4,000. What happened to that money? Oh, yeah, I, I did uh, do a lot of upgrades, didn't I? And I just spent 3000 on Parfati's meme, huh? So I guess if we do uh, leadership skills plus five, leadership skills plus five, that'd be Nyoka, Parvati, Ellie, Felix, and then we have one for Vicar, and I don't know what we can give him. It, that, that'd be giving everyone a whole brand new thing of armor. So maybe someone can still have whatever armor we have uh, from beforehand, so... I guess we could buy this armor. It's not too bad, I suppose. So uh, here we go. Get some souvenirs for all the people on the uh, ship. So there you go. All medium type armor, too. I, I guess I could do this, but of course, it's a little bit more expensive. And by a little bit, I mean like double the price at 1100 because it's pristine, right? So that sucks. Uh, and then we have this helmet right here. Handguns plus five medium. And I pretty much never use handguns, so I basically don't benefit from that. And then we have this heavy helmet here that does 92 armor rating. Woo! It's pretty good there, but I don't know if I'll do that. Two and melee plus five, two and melee plus five for the, uh, for the hat there, but I think I need to do that. Uh, can't buy any guns here, obviously, because, you know, it's just a heckin' wardrobe shop or whatever you would call this here. And then, uh, to buy, like, anything else, well, I guess I could, uh, sell some trash here while I'm here, right? I guess she'll buy some random, like, wrapped it on hide, <laughs> primal hide, like, what is she going to do with it, right? So, uh, sell junk here, just right here. And I don't know what we got right there. My eye didn't glance fast enough from the uh, from the price there, whatever that happened. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, either way, we just got some brand new armor right there, so that's good. I guess we uh, if we have a little bit of money left over, which we have about 2k now, uh, we can actually upgrade that armor a few times at the oh, there's a gardener little bot over here. Look at this guy. What's he doing? He's watering the plants. Hey, maybe they fitted uh that guy with like a watering cannon instead of like a heckin' like acid spray that our Sam has, right? <laughs> I don't know where that uh, workbench was. Oh yeah, that was like at, down at the like the freight like bay where we arrived at. So yeah, that's a little while ago. So if I want to go back there, I need to go back down the elevator. I don't know where. Uh, I guess we can go there. Just kind of, just kind of upgrade the stuff and you know spend a little bit of money. Just because why not, right? You and your pen pal seem to be getting along. Don't, don't make it small. When you say it like that, it sounds stupid. Whoa, take it easy. Didn't realize you were so wrapped up. You're doing it again. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to talk to Parvati now. Okay, let's do that here in just a moment once we, uh... Oh, was it over here or wasn't it? Oh, it was. Okay, that's good. I guess we could upgrade the uh, the, the stuff we just got, you know, just because why not, right? So, let's, uh... Oh, Tinker. There it is right there, Tinker. Let's, uh, Tinker with all the stuff that we just picked up. Did I buy that helmet or did I... Where did I get that? I don't know. I must have bought her. So I don't think I did. Must have picked it up from somewhere. Either way, let's uh, take it with all these things. What level is that one, by the way? Level 27. So yeah, we could upgrade them each a few times. So I'm just going to upgrade them one at a time until I can run out of money. Just because why not? And then we'll go back to the ship and give the uh, the armor to everyone else. Then see who already has the best armor. And they can keep... Oh, I'm out of money, I guess, huh? Oh, wait, no, this is already level 31. Wait, why is that level 31? Were these ones level 28 when I got them? It must have been. Okay. Well, the, uh, the other ones were only level 20... Oh, I guess I'm out of money. I can't do that one, so that sucks, yeah. <laughs> but this one's level 31. 65 armor right there. 65. 62 right there. Not too bad. And then uh, 65 right there. So, honestly, not too bad, you guys. Noise. All right, well, let's talk to Parvati now. And uh, maybe even see what armor she has and see if uh, she'll benefit. I'm like, I'm sure she'll benefit from it because whatever armor she has right now is probably trash. Yeah, 26 armor, so yeah. Uh, well, I like skills plus five. That's pretty decent, but... Uh, hopefully she'll be a little bit more effective now that she'll do either more damage or have more health. So that's going to be cool. But let's talk to Parvati about the, uh, the outfit we just bought. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. Y you know, there's, there's a part Junlei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Oh my god, she wants even more stuff. What? Jeez, we, we bought food, we bought an outfit. 
probably did some other stuff that I already forgot about. And now we need to get like a gift or whatever? Jeez, Parvati making every little thing perfect won't change June Lay's feelings. No, we're done running all I wonder if we could actually... Actually, hold on, yeah. I, I, I can't even accept this, apparently. Because it says, uh, it's basically no for both options here. Parvati making every little thing perfect won't change Julie's feelings. No, we're done running all over the solar system. Or the system. It's time to stop putting this off. You know what? You know what? Let's do number one. I feel like we're going to be laying her off a little bit easier there. And then, and then not being as blunt as number two, I guess. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. I wonder if there's a circumstance where we're able to actually go to the Hope. Like, maybe if we advanced a little bit more on the, uh, on the, on the main storyline? Uh, maybe? Because I feel like we're going to be visiting that thing pretty soon anyway, it's like... Because we have, like, some of the gas, the Alta Vitae... Oh, the music here. <laughs> I like how every elevator seems to have its own little tune. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I, I, maybe if we advance the main storyline a little bit more with Phineas, you know, we have the Alta Vitae gas. Uh, now we need to get like some more stuff here on Byzantium. Maybe we would have been able to go to the Hope and get like some random air filter or whatever she wanted right there. So I don't know if that was uh, ever possible if I had some other circumstances. What in the world? A regular dog? A regular cannon? Look at that thing. I don't want to talk to it. Teacup cannon. Look at that. It's called this teacup cannon. What if I pickpocket the can? <laughs> Look at that little thing. What do you have to say, wealthy citizen? Today's trends are tomorrow's trash. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of trash, I'm going to pick up that mes metastasis gel that's literally in the heckin' ground. <laughs> Is Mayfield still drinking? The idiot's probably face down on the bar by now. Ooh. Take it easy. But, I don't like can get just picked up a UDL uh, identity cartridge right there. Uh, what do we could use that for once we have the... Uh, like the shroud activated, I guess we'll be able to use it in certain situations, huh? Oh yeah, what else do we have here now? And now that we basically- Oh yeah, bite, don't bite the sun. Of course, if we go back to the Groundbreaker, we're, we're going to be going there for Lilia Hagen next time when we do her mission. So how's about we do that? The Chimerist's last experiment. Oh wait, what in the world is this? Oh yeah, the, uh, to find the space suits and all the kind of stuff. We'll just do that one in the background, you know, killing- or finding iconoclast stuff, <laughs> finding or killing marauders, getting their stuff, and then we're gonna go to the groundbreaker. Probably find some random trash there to buy for her, so that'll be easy. Uh, need to find him with the rest of Halcyon. <laughs> Wait, what in the world? Speak to Celeste while wearing a suit of armor and headpiece from the following sets: iconoclast mar. Okay, so we need both the armor and the headpiece, not just the armor. So that's good to know. And then once we're actually have them we need to wear them and then speak to her and then she'll be like oh man look at you modeling that stuff oh <laughs> so yeah now we're going to be doing the chimera's last experiment find and kill eva chartrand eva chartrand's home is on byzantium lily gave you the key card to her front door the evidence you found in cascadia on hrs 1084 convinced lily hagen that dr eva chartrand is at the center of an alien invasion conspiracy she wants chartrand killed for the good of humanity Chartrand is a board-sponsored chimerist, a scientist who manipulates the nuclein of plants and creatures from Earth to survive on colony worlds. Ooh. All right, well, let's go find her, uh, where is that? 135, okay, I guess we're somewhat in the correct area that way, but, uh, yeah, let's keep going this way, and then we'll find, uh, Eva Chartrand's apartment or whatever that she has here. Did it, uh... I see a gym at States. Hey, okay, it looks like we're heading the right way right there, so that's good. Yeah, let's keep going that way. Wait, wait. Today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. After a deep and thorough examination of our budgets, revenue streams, and predictive models, we are publishing our yearly success report. Profits are soaring. Promotions abound. Thanks to your continued hard work, Halcyon is healthier and more productive than ever. In the coming months, Byzantium will be sure to see the many rewards reaped from your diligent labor. 
Once we nail down the details, I can't wait to share what's in store. For now, my friends, keep up the hard work. Ooh, Chairman Rockwell. Yeah, probably going to be coming in contact with him pretty soon because he's, uh, he's the chairman of the board, it sounds like. So, I'm like, it literally is. It's like in his heckin' name. <laughs> but now you for charging's, uh... Could each of these homes fit all of Edgewater inside? Cannery and all. Your plan is to survive the vibe. Are you just talking right now? What would you have me do exactly? Oh, there. That's one right there. Can't you just see the stench of impropriety radiating off of him? For the last time, access to Byzantium is impossible without a proper nav key. That's right. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to be somewhere else. Anywhere else. That's right. See, I wouldn't be here if I didn't need to be here, right? That's right. Isn't that right? That's right. All right, I'm going to put that up before I get arrested. And uh, mag pick over here and uh, bypass shot. I wonder if she ever e even knows what those are. <laughs> um, oh, fizzy, yeah, we're like literally finding stuff on the side of the street and we can just pick it up, no problem. But yeah, over here is going to be the Eva Charchin's apartment or whatever right here. So I guess we'll just walk right in because we have the hacking key, right? So let's walk up and uh, unlock with, uh, with Byzantium estate key. Boom. Oh. Uh, I have to transition to it. I thought we'd just open it up, but okay, let's transition to Dr. Charchin's home. And let's see, let's find her, let's just heck and kill her immediately. Oh, she's like 15 meters down, 16 meters downstairs, it seems. And there's some, like, funky music playing right now, nice. I can steal her berry wine, her cosmic smokes. I don't think she'd care, I'm like, she's about to die, isn't she? Although I do want to talk to her and get- oh. You think the privy's gold-plated, too? Oh, probably. Everything in here is heck and gold. Look at this place. This place is insane! Like, even this front room over here is a little bit crazy. Like, look at this! I don't really get, like, a good look at this area. This is insane. There's, like, a big hook coming down from the ceiling. Like, to, like you hang the heckin' ceiling curtains and whatever. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. What is this place, though? Is this just her normal house? Or what is this? Like, I know she's a doctor, but god heckin' Lee, they pay doctors well here. She has random ammo in her, uh, stuff. 16 bit cartridges for a place like this, I should be expecting millions of bit cartridges just lying around. Jeez. Her logs over here? HRS-10, ooh. We're going to be reading about HRS-1084, you know, the, the, the spaceship we were just at not too long ago. Personal terminal, Dr. Eva Charchand. My worst suspicions are confirmed. HRS-1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks? My team? As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results they can replicate, package, and disperse to the general population, they desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Ooh. I received no messages from the Cascadia lab. I can hold out hope that a mere salvager happened to upon HRS 1084 and not a saboteur. Ooh, yet another relocation. The first extraterrestrials, oh my heckin' gosh. <laughs> Let's do number two, yet another relocation. Uh, circumstances are hardly optimal at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination of cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Perhaps my home in Steadfast Byzantium will offer the retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the ones I so enjoyed. The ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness. Perhaps as it should, so she's continuing her work. Here in her own, I guess, personal lab here. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine what's going to be downstairs. But <laughs> once we get down there, I can only imagine what's in this one right here. Number three, the first extraterrestrials. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we imposed our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked, for a time. But our oldest trick didn't work on Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to a force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective. Perhaps I'll bounce it out with some vodka. <laughs> Okay, well, nothing too crazy there. I guess she's just talking about the, the, the natural wildlife or something like that. You know, Raptodons, Manta Queen, stuff like that. Laboratory access. Ooh, unseal the entrance. Status sealed. I guess we could unseal entrance easily. Oh, status unsealed. Boom. All right, now where is this secret entrance? It's sealed and now it's unsealed. Is this it? Like, it looks like a big, like, combination lock or something like that right there. But, uh, steal that purple berry wine. Not like anyone's here to close that. Like, even these heckin' sliding doors are crazy fancy. Like, look at this place. It's insane. I can only imagine we have to go that way, and then there's, like, maybe a staircase, but I want to see what's over here. Open. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Here's a, uh... 
Uh, elevator right there. Okay, we'll see what's in these other... Can't open up this. Okay, what about this? It's probably the same thing. Okay, I guess we we do have to go down there. Okay. Let's get a quick save. It's been a little while since we've gotten a quick save, so let's get a quick save before we use our elevator and head down and... I guess see what's inside her own personal lab. No fancy special elevator music here, though. Ooh, here we are. Does she know I'm here? Maybe. Sneak. Ooh. Tubes and stuff here? Wow, look at the size of this basement. If someone back home wanted to make a secret lab, they'd have to put it in a closet. I know, right? And now, if we open up this door, we're going to see Eva Charchard. Oh! That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? That was like instantaneous. I opened the door and she's just like, that's far enough. <laughs> Jeez. Lily Hagen sent me to kill you. I'm the one asking the questions. Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. Attack, let's skip the talk and get to the good part. What about number three? Your alien mind tricks won't fool me. My what? <laughs> let's talk about this. Please, I think there's been a crucial misunderstanding. I'm listening. The alien theory did seem a little far-fetched. <laughs> You know what? Let's let's do let's do number two. She's going to be like alien theory. Uh, what? <laughs> Attack! I'm done talking. Now let's do number two. The alien theory did seem a little far fetched. Just give me a second to explain myself. If you still want to shoot me, at least it'll be for an accurate reason. If you came looking for some elaborate scheme, it isn't here. All I'm doing is trying to keep Halcyon alive. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Oh yeah, well what about that old woman on, uh... Actually, this same planet. Uh, what was it called again? Edgewater. What about that woman? She's got, like, the whole cannery is like a new, uh... Like a garden or something like that now that people can use for food. I'm like, we have a solution already, but like, uh, I guess she's doing it on a larger scale. Maybe, I don't know. This is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. That's right. Wait, you're telling me this was all about vegetables? <laughs> Do you always have corporate guards in your home? Yeah, I didn't even know it was a heckin' corporate guard like right there. And uh, I'm surprised he hasn't killed me already. Attack, I'm done talking. Yeah, I can just kill her right, like right now and that guard is literally doing nothing about it. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's do number one. Doesn't explain the research that I found. Yeah, this is startling, but it doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Adaptation didn't save your research team. Ooh. All you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. Yeah, they're all in like tubes and stuff as we saw. Hold on, what about the aliens? <laughs> Let's do number three just for the meme of it. As well as to see what she's... Like this whole alien thing is all about. Attack, yeah, we can still attack her just randomly here. Let's see how quickly you adapt to a bullet. <laughs> yeah, let do number three. Hold on, what about the aliens? Look around. We're the only intelligent aliens in Halcyon. No, uh, intelligent isn't really the word I'd be using, but all right. <laughs> Adaptation didn't save your research team. Uh, all you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues, and she's probably like, yeah, that's the reason why I'm still, like, working on it. Because I haven't found the solution yet. And once I do find the solution, of course, I'll, I'll take them out of the tubes or something like that, right? So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just do number two. All you have to show for it is a lab full of preserved colleagues. I know. I was there. Thomas was the first to take the gas. A simple test, he said. I told him not to, but he insisted. We learned a lot from his autopsy. Enough that we could try it on each other and know when to stop. No one else died. I must find a cure so his sacrifice isn't in vain. You burned through a lot of valuable scientists to arrive at zero solutions. Jeez. I'm surprised you don't have more support from the board. Yeah, I could be an absolute and utter savage and do number one. And I kind of want to. You know what? Let's do number one. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. 
Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? Cornelius Vanderbilt? The board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon? That's one heck of a story. Lily Hagen still wants me to kill you. <laughs> yeah, what about this Cornelius uh, Vanderbilt thing? What is this? One of the two Earth Directorate assault cruisers, assigned to patrol the Halcyon system. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? <laughs> the board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Golly. Lily sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover-up instead. Colonists might get unruly if they realize there was only one boot on their neck. <laughs> If the board's authority was vulnerable, that's a crisis waiting to unfold. And I can still attack her, too. You told me everything I need to know and more. Goodbye, Doc. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. Should I tell her about Lilia Hagen here? Or should I just keep putting it off and, and, and talking about something else? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do. I'm like, two and three sound very similar. I, don't I, I, I feel like if we do either one, then we'll probably get the same result. So maybe I'll do number two. Colonists might get unruly if they realize there's only one boot on their neck. Maybe I'll even do number three instead. Seems a little bit, uh, if the board's authority is vulnerable, that's a crisis waiting to unfold. Yes, do number three. Exactly. If colonists know we can't feed them or protect them, they'll begin to wonder why they need us at all. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? The board wants to adapt and entire. Yeah, that's one heck of a story, Lily Hagen. Yeah, let's do number two. The board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclean. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. <laughs> you really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? That's one heck of a story. Lily Hagen still wants me to kill you. I don't know. I, I, this is probably going to be the chance to bring up Lily Hagen. I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to bring it up a little bit later. Uh, you know what, Leah? Let's keep putting that bit off. Until, like, she's like, Oh, does, yeah, does Lily Hagen have, have anything to do with this? And I, I'll be like, yeah, she does. And she's like, I knew it. Maybe I'll do number one. Enough talk. Where do we go from here? You could always shoot me. I assume that's why you're here. Yep. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. You know, Phineas Wells, if you work with him, I'll spare you. You know what? I'm like, he does have, if we're to believe him. He's trying to revive the hope full of the smartest engineers, scientists, doctors, etc. If we could do that and then bring the colony back, if she agrees to do that and she doesn't rat us out or, or like turn Phineas Wells into the, the board or anything like that, it might work. I don't know. Keep working with the board on a plan to save Halcyon. I'll leave you be. Like she hasn't found a solution yet. What's the odds for finding a solution now, right, golly? What do you think, Ellie? Parvati, how do you think... We should handle this. You know, I kind of want to hear what Ellie and Parvati have to say about this. Maybe I'll do Ellie first, because she's like a doctor or a surgeon or whatever, right? So, let's see what Ellie has to say about this whole situation. I try not to, least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. Uh, and then, of course, at the bottom, yeah, I could attack her. I can't let this go on. Sorry, Doc. I could, uh, I could kill her and kill whatever bodyguard she has. Parvati, let's see what Parvati has to say about this now. Parvati, how do you think we should handle this? It seems like she's trying to help, Captain. Honest help. Ain't many in the colony doing that. We should let her try. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Now, I'm not going to kill right off the bat. I'm glad that I'm getting getting her side of the story first rather than just running in and just putting a bullet in her brain immediately. Or like a laser or whatever, you know? So, let's see. You know Phineas Wells, if you work with him, I'll spare you. I'm, I'm very hesitant to bring that up because I don't know if she'll turn him in or if that's like the, the best choice we should do here. But I, th I think right now we're at the fork in the road. We, we, we can't do one and still be able to do two later on. 
I think we have to do either one or two, and then of course there's three, but I'm not going to do that one, golly. You know what? Let's do it. Let's bring up Phineas Wells. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. If they work together to revive the people on the... I'm like, she's a smart scientist. I'm sure she knows what she's doing if they team up. I'm like, she knows the Alta Vitae gas, too. I'm like, we went to Cascadia to get the Alta Vitae gas for Phineas. So if they work together, I'm like, maybe maybe they'll be better than the sum of their parts? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Let's do number one. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. As long as you don't turn him in or anything like that, Gully. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman. A butcher. I'll do it. <laughs> Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? Ooh, the board reputation decreased, of course, that happened. I'm like, <laughs> why would it increase, right? I, I, out of all the solutions, I, I guess if I, if I let her live, I guess it stay neutral. I don't know why the board reputation would go up if I let her live. That'd be kind of weird. Her hand just went right through her little bun right there. <laughs> that didn't take much. Yeah, I just brought him up and then she was like, oh yeah, he's a butcher, he's a killer or whatever. I'm in, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't take much convincing. In the future, try and stay away from the plans that attack our species. So there really is no alien conspiracy. You know what? Let's do number three. And then of course I can, <laughs> I can still attack and be like, yep, change my mind. Whoops. Let's do number three. So there really is no alien conspiracy, huh? For the last time, no. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Golly. Oh man, I just spent all my money so I can't bribe him. I can't persuade him. I don't have enough persuade. I don't know what it is. I, th I thought our persuade was pretty high, but I guess I'm like persuade 100. I guess it's not that high, huh? Uh, then it's less work. I guess I have to attack him, but if I attack him, I guess I could also do number three. It's less work than hauling my corpse out of here. I could do that one. Let's do number three. If that doesn't work, I guess we have to do number four and I can kill this guy. And hopefully that doesn't have anything to do with uh, Eva Charchand over there. <laughs> I wonder if it's just this guy or if he has uh, any any helpers. But let's do number three. Wrong answer. You've got the wrong answer, Hita. Boom, there's a headshot. I'm going to get... Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let me get my... Oh, what in the world? Here we go. Nice little steel beam right up there. And there's a robot over here, Parvati. Go take that thing on. There you go. Nice. All right, where are the other enemies? Oh, they're over. Oh, oh, oh. There's another uh, mechanical guardian right there. Headshotting a heckin' robot, if that's even a thing. And, oh god, that didn't take it out. That didn't take it out. And there's a mechan or, uh, medicinal drone over there, too. There's a corporate uh, trooper over there. I'm gonna try and get him, but... I hit him in the head, and I think he's blind right now, which is good. That robot's still alive, not anymore. I'm like, it's a robot. I'm like, it's not really that alive, but it is what it is. Let me re revive my, uh, there you go. Revived my companions. And I'm just going to hit fire the rest of this there. There you go. Revived definitely died from the heckin' dropkick or whatever she did. Golly. And there's Eva Charger right there. What in the world? I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project. I don't know why. Did she actually help us out? It looks like she had a gun there for a moment. <laughs> you think she'd be able to, like, deactivate the robots and, 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 and... I just stole that. I, I guess she don't care, <laughs> or something like that, you know. But I, I guess, I guess not, huh? You know, is it uh, steel, steel? Yeah, she don't care. I don't, I don't think she. Oh, standard troop armor, little two, uh, ten armor. Yeah, that's nothing. I'll pick it though. But and I grab all that, maybe sell it. I'm like, yeah, I am out of money. I could have bribed the guy for like, what was it, three thousand dollars or something like that, or twenty seven hundred. Yeah, I didn't have enough money for that, unfortunately. These are empty tubes that might have more scientists here in the future. <laughs> might have myself in them too. God, maybe, I'll, maybe she'll put her. I can guards and who knows then uh, I could actually take the stuff out of this guardian without it be technically stealing so that's good armor parts I'll take that and up yeah she don't care that's good okay Ooh, what is that I don't know anyways there's a box over here heavy ammo I, I don't know if she actually cares or not she's literally just sitting there like looking at her clipboard like oh Stop. Uh oh violating company policy uh oh what happened what do you think you're doing uh nothing at all ah sorry for the misunderstanding that's right. Yeah, keep going that way while I continue. Yeah, I'm continuing to steal over here, golly. 8-bit cartridges. Whoop. And I see some, like, purple berry drink over there, it looks like, too. Posters over here I can't take, unfortunately. Heavy ammo, heavy ammo. And who's this guy? Who's this? Another scientist? Uh, this is Lorelei. Oh, this is where Lorelei is. Yeah, we, we heard... Remember Lorelei and 
uh, Eva Charchin were two names that were at the end of the last guy's tube. And I was like, yeah, if I wonder where those two are, they might be in Cascadia or whatever. And then I guess now we found out where Lorelei is. Now we know where Eva Chargent is. Holy heck. Current status alive, life, sci- life science minimal, stasis setting active notes. Subject will need medical treatments beyond our current understanding before any attempt at extraction is made. You should have let me go, Lore. I drew the short straw. It was my turn. I don't think I'm strong enough to go on without you. I'll never stop searching for a way to bring you back. If I fail, may the architect annotate your place in the equation. Eva. And then, yeah, of course, she's the final one still alive, golly. Corporate commander right here, I'll just loot right in front of you. You don't even give a butt cheeks. That's good. Uh, Speaking of butt cheeks, let me just get right back there behind yours and uh, steal that. And uh, yeah, Purple Berry uh, Punch right there. Nice. She don't care. So that's good. Big Courage is right there. Nice. All right. Nice. Well, that's going to be it for here, you guys. (laughs) Yeah, we did fail. You know, technically fail that right there. Find and kill Eva Chargent. Uh, now I have to return to Ilya, Lilia Hagen and be like, yeah, she's still alive, but like there's no alien connection. She didn't seem like she was lying. She's trying to, you know, feed the colony because everyone's starting to starve and whatnot. And she's going to start working with, I don't know if, I don't know, I don't even know if I brought up me working with Phineas Wells with her yet. But yeah, she's starting to work with Phineas Wells now, Yali. And I wonder if I have to go back to Phineas or if I could just like contact him some other way and be like, yeah. Eva Cartridge or whatever, start working with her and try and solve this, like, food problem. <laughs> Return to Lilia Hagen. Lilia will want to know what happened at Char- Dr. Charchin's estate. She can be found at the sublight headquarters on the Groundbreaker. You chose to spare Dr. Charchin's life. Yeah, at least for now. Got Lou. Oh!